Hello, and welcome to Saturday's show at the Wacky Bookshelf. For those new here, this channel is all about books you didn't know about. If you are a returning subscriber, we thank you for watching our videos and building the channel. We are a community of explorative readers, and we are always open to new book suggestions. All of our book reviews can be found in the description below, along with our merchandise and book blog. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for new content. Thank you for your support, and now on to today's book. He Walked the Americas by L. Taylor Hansen is a speculative and controversial book published in 1963. The book presents a thesis that suggests that Jesus Christ was not limited to the familiar biblical narrative, but that he traveled to the American continents and other parts of the world. The author L. Taylor Hansen relies on various historical accounts, legends, and oral traditions to support her claim that Jesus visited different cultures in the Americas long before the arrival of European explorers. Through a combination of research and storytelling, the book explores the possibility of a broader and more diverse journey for the historical figure of Jesus. He Walked the Americas is not a conventional novel with characters, locations, and a linear plot. Instead, it is a speculative work that presents a controversial theory about Jesus Christ's alleged travels to the American continents. The central theme of the book is the hypothesis that Jesus Christ, in addition to his well-documented life in the Middle East, also journeyed to various locations in the Americas. L. Taylor Hansen explores this idea by collecting evidence from a wide range of sources including historical accounts, legends and oral traditions from indigenous peoples. The book is divided into chapters that focus on different cultures and regions. Each chapter provides accounts of Jesus' purported visits to these locations. Some of the areas and cultures mentioned include the Hopi, Navajo and Zuni peoples in the American Southwest, the Maya civilization in Mesoamerica, the Inca Empire in South America, and the Eskimo cultures in the Arctic regions. Throughout the book, the author pieces together the narrative of Jesus' alleged journey, drawing on the stories of indigenous peoples who speak of a white-skinned, bearded man who brought teachings of peace, love, and spirituality. These accounts are often blended with elements of local mythology and legends. The struggles and successes of the book revolve around the author's attempt to support her thesis with historical and anecdotal evidence. The book's main struggle is its controversial premise, which challenges established religious narratives. The author faces the difficulty of presenting anecdotal accounts as historical fact, which may be met with skepticism by readers. The book concludes with the author's summary of the evidence she has collected, and her assertion that these accounts strongly suggest that Jesus indeed journeyed to the Americas and other parts of the world, spreading his teachings and wisdom to diverse cultures. He Walked the Americas raises several important messages and takeaways. Diversity of spiritual beliefs. The book underscores the diversity of spiritual beliefs and practices around the world. It suggests that the teachings of Jesus Christ, while widely known in the West, may have had counterparts in other cultures. Alternative perspectives on history. The book challenges established historical and religious narratives encouraging readers to consider alternative interpretations of historical events and figures. Cross-cultural influences. The book suggests that cultures and civilizations have often influenced one another, even across vast distances and time periods. It prompts reflection on the interconnectedness of human societies. Legends and oral traditions. The importance of legends and oral traditions in preserving cultural and historical information is a recurring theme. These accounts, though not always verifiable, hold valuable insights into the collective memory of societies. Controversy and belief. The book serves as a study in the intersection of belief, evidence and controversy. It prompts readers to consider the fine line between faith and historical fact. In conclusion, He Walked the Americas by L. Taylor Hansen is a speculative work that presents a controversial theory regarding Jesus Christ's travels to the Americas and other parts of the world. The book collects a wide range of historical accounts, legends, and oral traditions to support this thesis. While the book's premise challenges established religious and historical narratives, 
It serves as an intriguing exploration of the diversity of spiritual beliefs and cross-cultural influences. Ultimately, it invites readers to consider alternative perspectives on history and the role of legends and oral traditions in preserving cultural memory. Whether one accepts or rejects the theory presented, the book fosters a dialogue about faith, history and the interconnectedness of human civilizations. And that concludes Saturday's Wacky Book Summary. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. This book and many more can be found below in the description. You can support our community by engaging in the comments section and share if you think others would enjoy this content as well. Thank you again for visiting the channel, and we will see you around soon.